Good evening. I'm Jim Satterley, and welcome to this delivery of your pre-Christmas Sports Monday. The pressure-filled home and away series for the 2015 PLB football tournament title kicked off inside the Norman Broster Stadium as Verdes FC hosted Police United, the last two teams standing. The police gets going early with this nice work of penetration by Byron Chavez, whose left foot launch lacks the finish to beat Yusef Guerra in the Verdes goal. It's more police when this strike by Devon McKinney is deflected past the keeper, but the Verdes captain Rodney Shamir Pacheco clears. The ball only reaches as far as Harrison Cafu Roaches, who fires the left foot and goalkeeper Guerra owes Pacheco, who saves his hide in consecutive fashion. Some 22 minutes in, Verdes finally gets some offense going when Gilroy Turton fires this left foot from point-blank range only to come up with an embarrassing miss. Gilroy Turton looks for redemption and this time it's a power look who's missile from inside the penalty box only to be denied by a magnificent save from Jamie Brooks. Folks, Brooks shows determination to make his former team rule the day they traded him because this potent strike from Yora Silva is made to look like a routine save by the father, by the former various goalkeeper. In meantime, we're seven minutes into second half when Danny Jimenez's mean service into the danger zone finds his brother Orlando Jimenez and the left foot strike gives the law a one-zip lead. Orlando has certainly raised his level of play in the playoffs, people scoring his third goal in two crucial outings and he's leading the police team to the big time. The police continues in the ascendancy when Danny Jimenez cranks up this monster blast off the set piece that crashes against the crossbar and would have beaten the flying Gera. Hey, Carlton Thomas, when you take flight in the danger zone, please open your parachute and we're happy you hit the successful landing. Folks, we don't know what Devon McKin was thinking on this defensive effort against Ricardo Jimenez because there's no doubt this one is an easy penalty call for the referee. Everyone wants to take the penalty, so Captain Rodney Pacheco makes the decision for Dion McCauley. Folks, Belize's best super striker blows the big moment. Maybe he was distracted by the movement of Jamie Brooks, who comes up with the biggest save at the ball game. In the waning moments, Gilroy Thurton gets this chance to tie the score. He misses the target. Police holds on to the one zip big W. Game two of the series comes up this Sunday. 3.30 p.m. at the FFB Stadium. Police in the role of host needs just a draw to return to the pinnacle. Of course, Verdes, the defending champion, is not out yet. Why? Because it's never over till it's over. Meanwhile, Belize's Woodrow West, goalkeeper for El Progreso Honduras, won the national Honduran title Saturday at home after going to penalty kicks. El Progreso drew 3-3 in game one, and game two, as you see, went to a 1-1 tie. In the ensuing penalty kicks, West conceded only one goal as his team rallied to a 4-1 score on penalty kicks, and we say congratulations to Mr. Woodrow West and El Progreso. Hey, when you're big, you're large, and it comes from Belize. Hey, folks, that's our show for today. We invite you back same time, same place next week. Before we go, we want to take this opportunity to wish you a wonderful Christmas and may the spirit of our risen saviour and the victory on Calvary be with you. That's it. I'm James Allerly.